Good morning, and welcome to Morning Mario here on Steven Plays. Today, we've got a Super Mario World themed level called Cannon Contraption Canyon by Red 2. Load and fire the cannons. Look for secret areas. Feedback welcome. The best feedback you can get. It, well, I don't know if I'm the best feedback you can get, but I'm live feedback. You actually get to see me play test your level. World record of 3 minutes and 59 seconds and a clear rate of 7 point something percent. Let's go. I am ready. Load and fire the cannons to look for secret areas. I always will look for secret areas. It is in my DNA. I can't not look for secrets. What up, little guy? Oh, I see. This is already clever. I like this. I need to get these in here a little faster, though. Yeah, okay. Dang. Um, let's see. There we go. Oh, no! <laughs> I got that in there too, f too fast. Oh, God. <laughs> like I said, not always the best candidate, but here I come. Gosh darn it. I'm getting the timing on this. There, There is a timing to this. There we go. It's actually quite difficult. This will be easier. This will this will be way easier. Yeah. The first the first one's quite hard. Let's see what we got here. So now at the top one. Didn't even see that. Stuff happening off screen. Okay, already a checkpoint, which is nice. Um there's something to the right, but I'm more interested in what's to the left. So I'm gonna get on top of that bridge. And find out what's... Da 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 da! Aw, I get a little bonus theme. Well, you're welcome. I understand now about the secret areas. And I get another one of these guys, in case I want to cause havoc somewhere. Um, some coins. Let's see here. Uh, this gives me... Okay, so this is no longer special. <laughs> I'm holding on to it, though. You never know. So that's coming. Let's try not to get myself killed here. All right, proceeding with caution. I know that there was an area down here, too. Oh, yeah. I think they want me... Well, no. I could have gotten one of these from before. Let's see. Let's do this. I'm trying to figure out what the trajectory is going to be, because I actually don't know. I got it anyway! Cool. Hmm. Give me this. He's like, but I'm trapped in this box! I'm like, shut up. I might need this later. I I will take this with me. Oh, a bomb. Um. Okay. Let's see here. I need to blow up this because I need to get to that on switch. Okay. You stay here. Oh god, what have I done? Blow up! Perfect. Get in there. Perfect. Hit this. This is gonna give me a rolly ball. Still have the B-switch with me. There was quite a few areas. I could tell that there was stuff that I was missing, but there was a lot to going in different directions too, so I wasn't sure exactly where to go. Um, I got infinite mushrooms, it looks like, which is nice. And let's continue our assault. Oh, Bowser, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> this is great! It's like I've made an automatic machine. An automatic Bowser-killing machine. Like, I just, I just get to stand here and watch him, him, uh, him die. Oh god. Okay, that that was that was a hurt. Dude, you're going to have to you're going to have to uh 
back up a little bit because you're getting assaulted by these things. I have created a machine to take you down. If you keep your mouth open, I might shoot one of those into your... Oh, God. Woo! Woo! Ah! Uh, you still getting shot? Okay. You seem mad. Are you dead yet? Oh, God, he hit me on the way. Ow! I didn't think he could do that. I got the key, though. I still have this P-switch. Never know when you might need it. Don't move. I still have the P-switch. Because of it, I'll never truly get home. Mario walked and walked. And decided that he had to crouch in fear because of the P-Switch. That was great. That was actually really cool. The hardest part of that was actually the very, very beginning. Um, the very beginning, trying to get the timing on putting the bombs into the cannon. That was the hardest part. Because immediately after, it was... It was easy with, like, the, the shells and stuff. And there was a few paths I actually did miss in there. But I liked it. I guess if I guess if you wanted feedback, um, the only thing I would do is I would probably make the bombs further in, like the timing thing, because that part was a little frustrating at the start. And if you did something with shells at the start, then you would be progressing, and then the the bombs would be the harder part, because the bomb the harder part was at the beginning. But otherwise, it was it was fun, and I like the idea of loading a cannon. I think that's really clever. Anyway, uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, today is a Friday, which means I'm going to ask you a question that you can answer in the comments below. This is a question I've undoubtedly asked before on Morning Mario, but it might have been a while, so I'm going to ask it again. I want you to give me two games that you would love to see a remake of. A, re a remake or a remaster. Uh, for example, just a... You know, maybe it's an older game and you want to see it reimagined in 3D, or maybe it's uh, a game that you want to see uh, in a different art style, something like that. Or maybe you just want a graphical increase on the game in some way. Name two games. Now, those of you who have been watching for a while will know that the two games I would almost immediately gravitate towards are going to be Earthbound, because I've said for years that I think Earthbound would actually be a really uh, fun candidate to get a... Um, you know, a, a, a remake in the style of kind of how Final Fantasy III, uh, when it came to DS, it had like a, uh, almost like a chibi look to it. I just think that um, that style would actually work really well for, uh, for Earthbound. I think that'd be cl uh, clever. Uh, also, uh, Donkey Kong Country. Obviously, because I love the Donkey Kong Country series. I think making a trilogy uh, re-release in, you know, in the same style and look as Tropical Freeze would be amazing. But people that have followed me for years know that I've talked about those, so I'm not going to mention those. So instead, I try to think of two different games. First being the Time Splitters franchise. That needs a remake. And it can just be a re-release, a remaster. I would be fine with that. It doesn't have to be completely, you know, remade, but just... Some other people can enjoy it, so it can be uh, enjoyed at higher fidelity. <sighs> it's time. A few years ago, there was actually rumors about it uh, being in development, and then it, nothing ever came of it. And I, it was very disappointing. So I hope that at some point it gets a re-release. I think it would be uh, enjoyed. Enjoyed. Um, if they only picked one of them, uh, you know, it's got to be either two or future perfect, and I'm probably about 50-50 on how much I like each of them. But that's only the one game. The other game, I would say, is uh, Paper Mario. Paper Mario. Um, again, I, I think doing some sort of set came with Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door. Um, and it just really needs, like, a graphical, you know, re-release. Um, the game came out, uh, the original came out on N64. And the art style means that it is timeless, yes. But I would love to see it reimagined in widescreen and uh, the resolution upped and Switch might be a good uh, good move for that. So I'd love to see those two games specifically. But maybe you have other ideas. Maybe you've got a uh, different game in mind. Or uh, maybe you want to see something changed in terms of art style or art direction. Let me know. 
Sell your fellow commenters on your ideas in the comments below. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you here on Monday for more Stephen Plays Morning Mario.